Hi guys, welcome back to Commerce with Mac YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to reveal what might be coming for your MCQ papers. On previous predictions we made, almost 70 to 80 percentage, more than 80 percentage in certain papers were tested in your exams and our predictions were absolutely correct. So here, today I sat in front of the computer and this is the longest time I took to do this particular research because normally when it comes to do an analysis it takes for me 5 to, five to uh, 4 hours but this video almost took around 6 hours to understand what type of things can come uh, for your exam so I sat in front of the computer for so long for y'all and I hope you guys would subscribe to make my channel grow faster to reach 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible so now before we start you guys need to know what is commerce with mac commerce with mac is an education channel which educates students in commerce related areas such as accounting economics and business studies cambridge edexcel and then national curriculum if you all need to learn individual classes with me uh, the whatsapp number is below you can contact me directly and then join individual classes i don't do group classes so you can directly join for an individual session so now moving on to the mcq analysis you all know that uh, today we're going to predict two type of things one is the igcsc economics o level and then uh, cambridge o level double two eight one so igcsc is zero four double five so these are two paper codes we're going to predict today and you all need to know the paper code zero four double five and double two eight one is similar papers which means uh, the same paper to double two eight one who is uh, doing the exams will be sitting the same type of paper for double uh, for zero four double five as well. So the papers are similar. There is no difference even in paper two. It is going to be the same. Now let's start with the prediction. So starting with the twenty twenty three October November, there are thirty MCQs in your paper for IGCSE as well as for Cambridge level. Knowing what would come is uh, the hardest thing. So I have predicted from analyzation might be coming when i'm expecting 20 to 25 mcqs what i have predicted would come but if it comes 30 out of 30 i'm very happy but let's see let's see the prediction and uh, the analysis of this prediction is below the description so what you can do is uh, go to the description download the analysis and watch the video along with the uh, analysis after you download this analysis because when i predict uh, i will be explaining each and every every uh, mcq is properly so i want you guys to have the sheet with you but to have the sheet you need to subscribe there will be a pop-up link which will be uh, appearing in your screen and you should uh, type i have subscribed if you just click the link and request the uh, analysis you will not be able to receive it so let's start uh, the first uh, prediction of uh, 2023 october november the first mcq i'm expecting is about economic concepts now when I say economic concepts, it can be scarcity, uh, basic economic problems, free good, factors of production, competitive market. So now these are the basic terms like price mechanism. So if you are able to start with the first one, I would say learn the concepts as much as possible. Learn the things uh, which will be uh, easy for you to learn those concepts on the first six chapters. Any concepts can come on your MCQ number one. Number two, definitely it's going to be opportunity cost. Now my prediction, uh, the numbers might be different, but this might come somewhere. But opportunity cost should be within the four MCQs. So the third MCQ we are um, predicting is a production possibility curve, PPC. So I saw in recent papers, 2020 May June and 2022 October November, they have requested PPC. And also I noticed that uh, PPC has been gradually tested in most of the new papers. So I'm expecting a PPC this time. And the fourth thing I'm expecting micro or macroeconomics. Sometimes what might come to microeconomics and what might come to macroeconomics, this type of questions can be tested in your paper. And then uh, five, six, seven. I'm expecting three MCQs in demand and supply. So you, if you ask so what in certain in demand, I would say in demand you would get a PED. Uh, maybe uh, how pr shift to the right of demand supply know about taxes and subsidies one of these mcqs can come and what happens to the uh, su supply when price increases things like this type of questions can be tested but definitely 
In all the papers, I noticed that from 2021 May June to 2023 May June, but we noticed there was three MCQs minimum in all the papers for demand and supply. So we are expecting the minimum. I'm not expecting the maximum because maximum I saw four or five, but minimum we are expecting three MCQs. So uh, five, six, seven is going to be demand and supply. And then eight uh, question I'm expecting type of goods like public goods, private goods, merit goods, demerit goods, and also if not externalities in question number eight. That's what I'm expecting. And then question number nine, government policies, what government is taking measures, how government is intervening, what are the ways government can control the economy, things like that can be registered in MCQ number nine. Now, when I say these particular things, if you all have time, first study these topics rather than going to the entire textbook and learning the entire stuff and coming back to the point. I want you guys to, I want you guys to uh, learn the topics which I have given first and then uh, go through the textbook. So then we have the next thing, 10th uh, type of sectors. It can be primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector. They might give comparisons and ask you to find out. Or I'm expecting a specialization uh, if, the, if the country is specialized or if the labors are specialized, what are the advantages a country can receive, things like that. And then I'm expecting 11th uh, minimum and maximum price. But I understood on the previous years they have tested minimum pricing like on the minimum wage but maximum price I did not see for some time which is another question will it come or not but learn minimum and maximum price both uh, price flow and price ceiling another term for these two words and then cost absolutely it's going to come on 12th uh, question most of the uh, past papers I noticed that it comes between 12 to 20 so 12th I'm expecting a cost when I expect cost it can be fixed cost, average cost, uh, average variable cost, average fixed cost, total cost, any type of cost can be a part of this cost. And also know the curves on cost because sometimes they might give you to mark and identify which area is the variable cost and how to calculate average fixed cost. Things like that can be tested. And then 13th question, I'm also very uh, happy to inform that income has been tested in most of the papers. Income is like a very easy area like high income earners, low income earners, is it good, bad, things like that can be tested. So now high income earners and low income earners, when you compare what is the difference you are getting, the scales, they might give a diagram that also can be tested under income. And then question number 14, I'm expecting central bank and commercial bank. So most of the papers I saw that uh, they asked the differences between central bank and commercial bank in MCQs or they ask about money. So if you guys need to know the characteristics of money uh, or maybe the, uh, maybe the functions of money or com commercial banks and the central banks duties and responsibilities, know that thoroughly because that will be definitely tested for one mark. And then one, uh, another thing on question number 15 I'm expecting is mergers. It can be horizontal merging, vertical merging or conglomerate merging. You should be able to know when two firms are getting together what type of merging it is taking place. And then in question number 16, I'm expecting the interest rate and exchange rate. So what is interest rate? You guys already know how interest rate actually works and uh, how exchange rate and interest rate can affect the economy. Things can be uh, tested in your exam papers. And then uh, question number 17, we have question number 17, I'm expecting inflation. So when I say inflation, I, I am expecting all type of inflation guys. So it can be inflation, disinflation, deflation, uh, demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, all this inflation I'm expecting in this particular question number 17. So when I say inflation, don't just learn the meaning. Inflation means increase in the price level and just go to the exams and expect what? Deflation? What the sir taught me inflation only? No. When I say a topic, learn it thoroughly the entire thing. And one more thing I noticed that tax uh, is the tax is another area you need to be very concerned. So I am expecting in question number 18 tax. So when I say tax, I'm speaking about progressive tax, regressive tax, proportionate tax. Knowing that is very mandatory in your exams. So tax or supply side policies. One thing I noticed that supply side policies has been tested on the last two papers. So this time it can be tested or not tested, but supply side policy has been tested in all the uh, five set of, uh, no, all the last four set of exams, they have tested supply side policy. 
so it is a important thing to know so taxes or supply side policies having an idea about government economic policies like unemployment rate uh, knowledge about the uh, government uh, fiscal and monetary all these things will be uh, very important for you guys to score in your mcqs so moving on to the next part 19th one i'm expecting a gdp question how productivity can affect the gdp how gdp uh, measuring the gdp like charts can be tested or hdi human development index or consumer price index so out of these three one will be tested in question number 19 sometimes you might uh, be tested trade union also so have an idea about trade union that will be helpful for you now you might think so is speaking the entire syllabus thoroughly why so is giving every concepts thoroughly he is already almost speaking the entire syllabus no guys i'm speaking certain topics first of all understand that i'm not asking you to go to through the entire textbook now i'm asking you to go through certain topics after you go through these certain topics if you have time then of course go towards the uh, entire textbook and learn it and the next thing is uh, we have uh, question number 20 economies and this economies of scale the very less tested in exams once in a blue moon it comes but if it comes it can be this time it might be tested so learn the types of economies of and this economies of scale uh, definitely in question number 21 I, i'm expecting a fiscal policy when i say fiscal policy i'm speaking about government spending uh, government spending and government revenues are managed uh, fiscal policy uh, is about how government revenues of a country is increasing and how government spending the country uh, the country's government is managing so when you learn about fiscal policy you need to know these uh, indicators with, within the uh, fiscal policy to have an idea to score in this area so most probably like income taxes uh, now type of taxes you know uh, there are capital gain tax income tax corporate tax so these are type of taxes the government can earn through revenue so you need to know these particular charts again uh, moving on to question number 22 i'm expecting monetary policy most probably in your syllabus monetary policy is tested with the interest rate so how interest rate can affect and how interest rate can actually make a change is uh, explained under this particular topic so you need to have an idea on that as well then we have 23 economic indicators like as i said what type of uh, any type of indicators which is going to drive the economy that particular topics you need to be very concerned of so when i say uh, economic indicators again i'm speaking about the almost like the government objectives and government's uh, government's uh, macro goals most probably so know those policies again uh, when I, when you say economic indicators a meaning about unemployment uh, gdp growth uh, of the economy everything comprises within that topic and then we move on to the next part question number 24 so trade protection comes on 28 and 29 as i don't have space to put that i put it on 24 so trade protection uh, like tariffs quotas uh, imports uh, restrictions uh, all these things uh, will be tested under trade protection topic so know that particularly uh, most probably quotas and tariffs has been tested always so have a idea on that then question number 25 i'm expecting an employment and an unemployment question so either employment rate calculation or unemployment rate and what happens to the economy if there's unemployment how our economy can grow in, grow in a better way uh, if the unemployment is not uh, is mitigated uh, if unemployment is reduced to a certain level how we can uh, ensure that the economy will be doing things like that will be tested and then uh, mcq number 26 i'm expecting a real income or living standards so uh, you know the difference between nominal income and real income right so real income is like with inflation the amount of money you earn nominal income without inflation the money you uh, you earn and what you have been earning the income what you been generating so living standards are uh, like how a health of a person education will be affecting the economy can be tested in your uh, and also the person uh you know life and death period also be a part of this particular question and then question number 27 i'm expecting poverty absolute and relative poverty definitely have an idea and know the meaning of poverty because that has been tested in most of the payment uh, papers and then the next thing is a uh, balance of payment in question number 28 so balance of payment when i speak about balance of payment i'm speaking about current account trading goods and services uh, imports and exports everything guys and also uh, current account deficit current account surplus things 
like that can be tested. And then 29, I'm expecting a foreign exchange rate question. Again, how foreign exchange rate appreciation, depreciation of currencies, fixed and floating, how it can affect. And the last thing I'm expecting is about multinational companies intervention. Now, I have explained you 30 uh, MCQs thoroughly Underst to understand this particular video. If you guys can watch this again before going to exams, this will be helpful. And if you guys get more than 20 MCQs what I have predicted, please comment, comment and share this channel to all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, I'm going to give some tips for you guys to get ready for exams. So, how do we get ready for uh, this 30 MCQs. Now, apart from Sir has predicted, what are the ways I can do and what are the measures I should take in order to get ready for the exam? First thing, you do not have any idea about the syllabus. Start with, or if you if you have an idea of the syllabus, practice five years of papers, ten set of papers, or maximum if you have time, practice ten years of papers, twenty set of papers. Then that will give you a chance of scoring better. But understand, don't learn the MCQ. Uh, you know, when you go to the marking scheme, they will give B, uh, C, they will not explain you how it got B, how it got C. So, when you are doing the MCQs, understand why it is B, why it is C, why it is D, what's the reason. So, always understand the reason. If you do not understand the reason, in certain papers, ask me that, that particular papers, I will work and upload it in this particular channel. And the second advice I can give is, knowing uh, syllabus, uh, thorough understanding. If you guys do not understand, know the syllabus properly, then there is a very high chance of scoring the syllabus. Uh, if you do not have time for exams and watching this video, go through the summary of your textbook, the Cambridge, uh, Cambridge textbook uh, for economics and if you can go through the summary and understand, that's enough if you do not have time. If you have time, go through the textbook properly at least once read the textbook and understand the concepts properly now, these are two ways you can score in your uh, mcq and i have given you if you guys are going to go for 30 out of 30 you need to follow all the steps i have given in this video and if this video is useful subscribe the channel and ask what videos you need in future it can be a level ace level whatever the contents you need i will be uploading so now this target of the channel is to reach 4000 subscribers before your 6th exam. So let's see how you guys are going to contributing by subscribing to the channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.